Hey y'all, Jack Squad and my YouTube family and friends. How's everybody doing today? Hope all is well and I hope you're making it happen for yourself. So I'm just going to get right into it. So uh, Remy, my son, as we all know now, has been arrested for the unalivement of another black man, right? Uh, before I go into details and go any further, I'm going to say this. As a mother of two sons, grown men, I understand her pain. I understand how she feel. And for all of those that's saying uh, whatever they saying about it, once your child get grown, not even before they get grown, especially them boys, they're going to do what they want to do. I just want to preface that with that. They're going to do what they want to do. You can tell them all the right things, put them in all the best positions, tell them all the good stuff that they need to know to get ahead in life. And they still do what they want to do, right? I don't know if Remy did that or not. I'm just saying. Now, on top of that, the fact that she uh, went to the penitentiary when he was very young, I want to say seven or eight years old, and was gone for six years. I thought she was gone for nine, but I, they said six, so I don't know. But she was gone for a number of years during the formative years, right? When you really need your mommy. When you need your mommy. You know, when you're young, you need your mommy. As a teenager, you need guidance and other things. But when you're little, you need your mommy, right? I'm not giving the man an excuse. I don't know if he did it because it's all alleged. But I'm saying it's probably a lot of turmoil in his head, right? <clears throat> and maybe uh, he has been misguided. Well, anyway, Remy, my son, uh, Jason Scott, he is 23. He has been arrested for the unalivement of... I want to say his name right. Darius Gulabo. Gulabo. A.K.A. D-Block. That's his street name, right? Who is an alleged drug kingpin. Okay? He was 47. This event happened uh, June 7th, 2021 in Queens. Now, this man, Darius, A.K.A. D-Block, is the cousin to Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenny, Kenny Petty. Okay, now Nikki and D Block and her husband are from Queens, and Remy and her crew are from the Bronx. Now, I don't live there, I know those are different places, but they're saying that uh, New York is gonna be on fire today in the next few upcoming days, right? Um, her son was arrested along with another uh, young man, Richard Swigert, right? Young man, 23. Listen, this is so tragic. This is so tragic. Whether he is guilty or not, it's still tragic to be put in a position for him and to be put in that position, Remy to be put in that position, right? Because now you have to defend your son. You have to stand by your son, right? On top of whatever else you got going on, this now becomes a priority, right? And, you know, I, I tell women a lot of times, uh, and I tell children that as well, that whatever you do, it falls on your mama. I don't care who they are. If they're serial unalivers, if they SAers, whatever they do, when they go to court and they get in trouble, anything happens, nine times out of ten, it's just going to be mama. That way heavy. That way heavy on her heart. That put a lot of undue stress if all you had to do was go sit down somewhere, right? Now, I've heard a lot of conflicting statements. Um, what I always want to know is why, when there are children of means, Papoose is his stepdaddy, basically his daddy, because he raised him while his mama was gone. So in my mind, that's his daddy. I don't like to even use the word step, right? Just don't. Um, and Remy is your mama. I, I know that they did not live in the hood. I don't know where they live, but I'm hoping that they did not live in the hood. It always befuddles me why children of people with means and, and, and money want to be in hood-related activities. Why they want to be street dudes. You don't have to be. Your mama didn't have did the work, so you don't have to be. Take that and ride with it. Why you wasn't in college somewhere? Why you wasn't maintaining a business somewhere? Why do people, black folks, us, once we have a, a door open to get out of the hood, 
we stay in there. Why? Why? Listen, I don't even have any money. I have no money, right? I left Cleveland. I had a house that was paid for. I left Cleveland because I was tired of hood activities. Somebody going to get hurt, right? I ain't doing nothing, but you surrounded by it. I want peace. Why, when you have the opportunity to not be a part of that, you choose to be a part of that? Now, this allegedly, I don't know what the young man did. I don't know. But I'm just saying, word on the curb. Word on the curb. It was said that him and this gentleman, the uh, the guy, Richard Swagger, was seen arguing with uh, Darius, a.k.a. D-Block, because I can't really say his last name, right? And then uh, shots went off, right? I will never understand. I wish I had a, had a hand up, a leg up, an arm out for somebody to take me out of my situation when I was uh, in my teens and 20s in my childhood period, right? Here you have the opportunity to be whatever you want to be. And you decide, this is what you're going to do. You're going to be a street nigga. That's what the people say. I don't know, but I'm just saying, right? Now you got your mama worried. You got your mama all worried and stressed out, causing undue stress when all you had to do was something else, right? Um, this is tragic. Now also, they're saying that uh, D Block's people is enraged. You didn't rile them back up again, right? You didn't rile them back up again because now we have an individual that's a suspect, right? Now I'm also concerned about I'm concerned about this young man's safety wherever he go, right? You know, I think in New York they'd go to the island first. I'm not quite sure, but I think, right? I heard that was a dangerous place, more dangerous than most, right? Um, he needs safety. In Remy Ma, you know. Depend on these type of, if these people is who they say they is, <clears throat> you know, they reach out and touch folks. I know people that reach out and touch folks. You ain't got nothing to do with it, but your mama and them is collateral damage, right? Listen, this thing can get ugly. It can get petty. It can get stupid, right? It can just go wild, right? Um, I just still, again, I understand uh, Remy's uh, dilemma, right? There's nothing worse than your child being in a penitentiary somewhere. And you can't help. Ain't nothing you can do. Now, at least they have money, and they can put money on his books, get him an excellent lawyer or lawyers, right? Get him a good defense team and, and see how he come out with that, right? You know, I, my older son went, went away when he was young, very young, and I told him that's where you're going. You keep doing what you're doing, that's where you're going, and that's where he went, right? I had no money. I didn't even have money put on his books. I didn't have, you know, I'm trying to maintain the children that I got at home and live for myself, right? So he does have that advantage if any of this is true. Well, it's true that he's sitting in there. So he does have that advantage of getting an excellent defense team uh, and uh, some Zoom Zooms and Wham Wham money, right? This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible, right? Um, I hate to see. Let me tell y'all something. I stopped watching First 48. When First 48 came out, I don't know when it came out, early 2000s and 90s, whenever it came out. I used to watch it. I was just thrilled with it. And then it became stupid to me, right? Because families are lost, right? You done went and did something. You done unalived somebody about something that you, you don't own none of this stuff. You done went and unalived somebody. So now your mom and them sad and wearing black dresses. And then uh, the other family, they got to, uh, they got to go, uh, uh, you know, bury somebody. And the other family got to come see you and see to you for the rest of your life. And I stopped watching because it's just so stupid. And it's penitentiaries and jails is full of black, young black men young black men. Yes, sometimes your childhood, a lot of times your childhood uh, defines the way you're going to go in life, but then you have to make a conscious decision to what you want out of life. Do you want better? Let's do something better. Let's go this way instead of that way, right? I am, am absolutely disgusted with kids who are from parents who are well-known, wealthy, entertainers, whatever they are, right? And then you, you, what you, play, in, you play in street games. And they're saying it's a uh, unalivement for hire. I, like, you can't be the hit. You not you ain't playing hit man, is you? <sighs> Listen, Remy Ma did release a statement. She can't say too much. You know, uh, she released a statement saying her son is innocent. Well, of course, he's innocent until proven guilty. Of course, your mama would say that. That's what a mama would say, right? Um, the whole thing is tragic, right? And, I, you know, I still feel for the young man's safety, right? 
But if you out here playing street games, you get street prizes. You know what I'm saying? Um, then you know it was said that Nikki was making stuff. You know, I don't see. I don't understand. Listen, when you got money, I've seen this with people in Cleveland who become stars and then they just can't stay out the hood. Why are you here? Why are you here? You know, like where I'm from, I'm from Cleveland. Steve Harvey left, I don't think he ever came back, right? Uh, Arsenio Halls, a lot of them. But the folks that stayed, their careers dissipated, right? You got to come up. I know you want to be around Pookie and Ray Ray and them and do all that. Fly them out. Fly them out. You just stay out of the hood because you're going to end up, something's going to happen to you. Something's going to end up happening to you right there in the hood, right? Leave that. And I, I see a lot of activists, a lot of people, you know, they want to do good for their community and stuff like that. Child, listen, people don't appreciate that. They don't appreciate that. Uh, matter speaking of that, there's a, a great community activist in um, in Cleveland, actually from East Cleveland. Um, he's 80 years old, Art McCoy. I want to say it was a councilman. See, East Cleveland is so bizarre. Um, beat the man up, 80-year-old man. He did nothing but great things for the community. Activists is the ones who always get it, right? Listen, stay out the hood. Like, you know, I'm down with people being activated and doing what they need to do, but child, listen, get out of there. If you can, get out of there. Because the, 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 the people that's left are savages. And you'll turn into a savage, right? Sometimes, you know, most folks can't go nowhere. I understand all that. You gotta learn to stay out the way. And if you if you got means to do something greater, then do something greater. Like why was you let's let's say he innocent. Why was you there talking to the man? Why why was you there? Why was you there? Like why why was you involved in that? If he a drug kingpin, a drug lord, and, and so on and so forth, why was you engaged in conversation with him, right? Like find some listen, this to all young folks and they people got some money, any kind of little piece of change that can help you get out of the hood, get out. Get out. Cause there's nothing. Streets is they ain't lost. Streets ain't never lost. They a million to zero. They ain't never lost. Streets ain't never lost. You know, get out. If you can get out, get out. Period. So we're going to watch and see what happens with this as the days go on. Um, hmm. You know, and, and you know, a lot of people are saying this is Remy's karma. I, I don't, I don't want to go with that one. He's just a young, cause I got sons and I know how they do. I had one went left and one went right, right? Now the son that went left, I am glad to say, he just turned back around and came back around this your way, right? Because there's no end to that. There's no nothing good to that. If you if you in the streets and you get money illegally, right? If you don't go buy you some businesses and, and invest your money in something, you just go you just like a hamster wheel, you just going around and around and around and around for nothing, right? That's that's all I'm gonna say on that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get out. You know, if you have a means to get out of a of a hood situation, get out. Get out. The people that are there are there because they have to be. If you have a, a way of getting out, get out. It makes no sense to sit in some shit and you ain't got to be in it. That's stupid to me. When you play stupid games, you get stupid prizes. That's it. Now you sitting in there at 23, a young man. Them the ones be hollering when they up in there in the independent penitentiary. Them the ones hollering and screaming. After they if reality set in, right? That they they get this is it this was happening at 23 you ain't no more women let's say you're guilty you, you know and no more women unless you get lucky and get a guard or some female guard ain't no women ain't no free space go to sleep when they tell you to go to sleep wake up when they tell you to wake up eat what they give you that's you might as well be a slave because that's what you is a slave to the penitentiary system that ain't nowhere for nobody to be and i wish you know this thought just came in my head you know they teach us math and english and all that in school and they teach us some stuff that we ain't gonna never use right they need to start incorporating what happens they need to start having real life classes classes about real life now if depending on the school you go to and depending on the teachers that you have teachers will try to instill something in you right and i'm saying all of this because like i said i had two sons one went right one went left and the one that went left was my oldest he just not coming back around right to the right way after seeing horror after horror tragedy after tragedy tragedy going to the penitentiary you know seeing your friends get on the live right in front of your face you know after seeing all that now he just said okay i had enough of that right um you know 
it troubles me. I, I'm gonna just stop talking about it right now because that bothers me. Because I see, I work around <clears throat> and I see, I've seen this too many times in the hood, right? Uh, uh, so and so talking to so and so, he innocent, but he because he with Pookie and Ray Ray, or he riding them or talking to him, something happened now. He, you know, I've seen it too many times, right? Uh, this has to stop. Um, if you have a means of getting out of something, getting out the hood and bettering your life, do that. Do that. And something maybe maybe your mom and them ain't got no money, right? You have to get it for yourself. Hence my slogan, make it happen for yourself. I live by that. I mean that. In every sense of the word, I mean that, right? And this is trouble me, so I'm going to get on up off here. Hey, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, please. New subscribers, welcome. Uh, Y'all join my live. Um, I, I'm live Monday through um, Wednesday, and Thursday is for members. So get you a membership, right, where I can talk the way I want to talk. And uh, we can discuss what we want to discuss without worrying about being censored, okay? It's grown folk talk over there on, on, on today. Matter of fact, Thursday at 8. So y'all be good, okay? Bye-bye, Jack Squad.